Hello everybody, Lynn here from Mockingbird in Maine and I have a really quick and easy book cloth um, DIY tutorial for you. Um, and this is to turn fabrics into book cloth that you can use to cover a hardcover book. Um, this is mainly intended for thinner fabrics like this is like a cotton calico quilting fabric. Um, thicker, heavier upholstery fabrics such as this, I wouldn't use it. Um, I've covered a book with this and I did not need to turn it into book cloth. And what we're doing when we turn it into book cloth is simply adding a layer of paper backing to it to give it some more durability and to allow you to glue it on to a cover with whatever glue you use so the glue does not seep through the fabric and ruin the cover. So you will need a couple of things besides the fabric that you're going to use. Um, you will need some heat and bond and I ripped off the top but it's heat and bond ultra hold and um, you can get it at Joann's, probably Hobby Lobby too because they sell fabric. Um, and use your coupon, of course, but I have been ordering it on Amazon for the 17 inch by 5 yard um, because I use a, quite a bit of it. And this was actually a better deal um, price wise than even buying the smaller one, which is probably a yard um, at uh, Joann's uh, with your coupon. This was even a better deal than that. So you will need heat and bond ultra hold and then some um, regular old tissue paper. Um, you would need, if you don't have tissue paper, you can use a parchment paper. Um, I've seen people do tutorials, they've used a rice paper. So it's basically just a very thin paper that you want to use for the backing. Um, I've got my iron set up. Uh, let's start with the, and I've got everything prepped. So I've cut my piece of fabric. I've cut the heat and bond just a little bit smaller than the fabric because you end up sometimes trimming this down when you cover a book so I didn't want to waste any of the heat and bond and then so if you can see that shiny side down and it says medium setting on your iron on the instructions but I don't know if it's my iron or what but I have trouble with the medium so I always put it on the linen cotton setting the highest setting and then you just line it up and then just pass the iron over it probably about, I don't know, eight seconds. Um, make sure it's all adhered. Okay. And then I just let it cool um, for a few seconds. And then just peel off the backing. And you, hopefully you can see the shiny adhesive is on your fabric. Turn it to the light. And then you want to take your paper that you're using. And I try to line it up so all of the heat and bond is covered. And if you do it while the heat and bond is just still a little bit warm, it kind of sticks down nicely to begin with so you can make sure all the heat and bond edges are covered and then this just go right over it again just a whoops whoops some of the heat and bond was sticking out just for a few seconds until it is adhered okay and that truly is it. It's got a nice weight to it. You've given it a little backing so you can glue it on. And then I've also done it for those, uh, one of my last videos I printed onto fabric. Of course, now that I'm trying to find it, where is it? Um, I printed onto fabric using my ink inkjet printer, and so I've done the same technique with this, so now it's got a paper backing. I am not going to use it to cover um, a book, but I am going to use it in a project where I wanted to glue it down, so I wanted to prep it in the same way. And that is it, guys. Uh, easy peasy book cloth, 
and you can cover um, old books, old hardcover books. You can make your own covers. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope that this was helpful. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I hope everyone's doing well. I'll be back real soon, guys. Bye.